Is this a mask? Huh? This metal bat. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Oh, the trash can has shit in it. There's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. Did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? There's a window and I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. With Shiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park, where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never... I never expected mm -hmm. that person to be waiting there. <laughs> what we got? Oh, it might be... Yes! Oh! <laughs> it's my boy! They let me out! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Hey guys, I chewed through the chains! <laughs> I was so hungry, Hajime! <laughs> Since you didn't feed me breakfast, it was my only option to survive! <laughs> my uh, hero was I'm the so only happy. one f cooking me food, and now she's dead! <laughs> and then, Oops! Oops, I ate her as well! <laughs> I said too much. Why, hello there, Hajime and Shiaki! I'm glad you guys are doing well! N Nagito! <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well... Oh, well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. I'm just gonna be hiding in these bushes over here. Forget I was here! More importantly, did you hear? Here! <laughs> Apparently Mahiru got killed this time. You are so happy to be voicing Nagito. <laughs> I am! Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group. Always spirited, and very eager to talk. And talk and talk and talk. <laughs> For her to be killed, that's a relief. <laughs> if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing! But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right, no matter how dark the despair, hope can shine and become brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for Mayuru, just a little bit. This is quite exciting! How will everyone overcome despair this time? It's like Hajime just starts walking away. <laughs> he just I've been makes, talking for ten whole minutes. He just makes a beeline to the arcade. He's like... <sighs> bye, bye. <laughs> Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez. As usual, he's acting so crazy. He's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Pissing, who, pissing. Who told you about Mahiru? Now, now. You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monami. It's Monami. Yes, it was me. <laughs> I like how Monami corrected you. <laughs> you were like, Monami. It's Monami. <laughs> <laughs> you. Why'd you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Um. Did I do a bad? <laughs> I just wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. Th there's no way we'll get along! You already know what kind of guy he is! Yes, but <laughs> fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do! <sighs> now, now. Hajime, you should forgive her, and me, mostly me. <laughs> Monami is making a valid point, too. You have no right to say that! But... But now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for Mayuru, right? That's right! That's right! That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma! Enough! Enough already! Just... Just go away already! <laughs> oh my god, that's so mean! Nagito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Man. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. I'm something of a gamer, Hajime. Gamer! Which surprises no one. True ending? Now then. So, although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> I will try to be useful 
In my own way! Hmm. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I don't know! <laughs> I'll always be on the side of him. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. Yeah, me too. If he didn't exist, the situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! Hey, hey. Hajime, let's move on and start the game and start the game, start the game, start, start the game. The, start, the, start, the, start the game! <laughs> mm, uh, you're right. Even if I do play this, I might get a game over again. But who cares? Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> now move your cursor over. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? Huh? I feel like I'm going to repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get a game over. So, if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well... When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Want me to tell you? <laughs> I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too. You know, that thing that was displayed on the game over screen? Is that... Oh. Oh. Are you talking about the message that said down five? To be honest, I'm kind of an idiot for not That's thinking right. about it. Well, I thought Just they so were counting. Know. I thought they were like counting. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, ahead. like the like the people in the uh, meta game. Yeah, yeah. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. It mm -hmm. means you have to press down five times. Uh, <clears throat> then the hidden command is. Yep. It's a really lazy command. Yeah. You just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. Just as expected of the ultimate gamer. Nope. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just... You either get it or you don't. You don't In fact, be Nagito fucking got racist. It on his own, so, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it, babe. Oh, uh, do we gotta play the whole fucking game again? Get the game over and then no. press down five? I don't think so. This game is a work of nonfiction and it resembles to real people's living or dead is purely intentional. Okay. I need oh. to press down five times on the title screen. All right, let's do this. Open the new door to Twilight Tender Murder Case. Please press down five times with your own hands. Are you actually pressing down on your keyboard? Yeah. Wow. The screen changed. She was right. Truth edition. Yep. This is the real game. Twilight Syndrome Murder Cases Truth Edition. That's not a mouthful. <laughs> I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. It'll start as... It'll start if I press the start button, right? God. Now then, let's begin Twilight Syndrome murder case. Hajime, Please press the start button, you idiot. Hajime being stupid about video games is so alienating. <laughs> yeah. We open, we open with a specific the... murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was a work of a pervert who snuck into the high school grounds. However, there was a secret behind the incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, the tragedy befell those girls. Uh, tragedy. Not the tragedy. Several uh -huh, days yeah. after the incident, one of the five girls, girl E, w is murdered by someone. When the world happened at this once peaceful academy, by playing the missing first day and third day, you'll be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day where it all, when it all began. Oh boy, that was a lie. <laughs> Dawn of the first day. Ching, ching. Ching, ding. 
Uh, uh, I don't I'm remember who was who, so we'll just take it. All I remember is that I was girl A and I was doing a Robin voice. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry for keeping you guys all waiting. Jeez, we're gonna get home late because we had to wait for Slowpoke Girl A. Come on, girly, you don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. Please, my, people might mistake us for good friends. Uh, I'm not your friend. What? There's no way I'd be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. Okay. Okay, so like these people are <clears throat> equivalent to uh, pe like characters uh, right. in this game. So, I don't know who girl A is, but Sayanji is definitely girl B because she's short and she cusses it's a lot. Really bitchy, yeah. And okay. Mahiru is uh, girl E because, you know, she dies and also she's taking photos. Good, yeah, good point. Who would be the tall one then? Yeah, I don't know who girl A or girl C are yet. Okay, uh... Taha! Hmm. The way girl B treats people, even lone sharks looking to collect would get sick of her stomachs. Huh. Is girl E here yet? Oh, I made a mistake. No. Photo girl is girl D. Yeah. The one on the far right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Pigtails. Ah, apparently like she Wendy. forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Ah. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking, okay, in that case, if she's looking for the swimsuit, that would make her Mahiru, girl E? Or wait, no, no, because... Ah, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I've got, <laughs> I've got it all tied up in knots at the moment. Yeah. It's a little... Her, th <laughs> uh, her swimsuit, huh? Baby, it got stolen. Stolen? You don't know. A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. <laughs> you should be super careful, girl A. A chubby weakling like you might be the perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl A's getting real scared. <laughs> it's fun to bully girl A. This is a good game. <laughs> <laughs> what was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. We're the same voice. We're getting southern <laughs> together. <laughs> it sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. Oh, we play as girl. <laughs> girl E, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now. And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is is something in there? That's that's what I think, but yeah, that was somebody else for sure. Yeah, I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. Fuck locks. I never heard of them. You're right. It's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Uh, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge to get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this, babe. <laughs> I found the key! Oh, I didn't have to get it myself, that's lit. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. Then let's open it right away! Creek? Okay! Darla, you lead the way. Huh? Me? <clears throat> Come on, hurry, hurry! Okay. In me I go. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Oh, the Hello? piano did it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you good? Hello. She's probably good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's leave. Guys, I didn't see anything. It's weird. Yeah, this place is okay. just empty. Like, what happened? Someone's laying on the floor. <laughs> like you could walk all the way back. Yeah. This, she's not lying down. 
<laughs> Somebody threw her through the window. <laughs> and then she tried to escape out the window. She's dead. Dead? That's right, dead. That's impossible. Why? Everyone's southern. Kyo. Oh. Lower your boys. They might still be nearby. But this is a music room. <laughs> nearby. I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered, huh? Seriously, shut up! What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? Mm -hmm. I see. So that's what happened. I found it! The killer's escape route! Escape route? Could it have it be? Could the fucking just... window? Ah, <laughs> uh, the window's broken. <clears throat> the sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the ro music room door from the inside, and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything near here. Uh, anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So, so the killer just ran right. out the window? <laughs> like the Kool-Aid man. Yeah, it's perfectly but killer shaped. <laughs> if they just wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? To look cool. They were probably just trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window was tipped over, and all the gravel is scattered. They must have... Uh, <clears throat> they, they must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Oh. Broken fish tank. In video game. Mm -hmm. It's not... It's, it's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway. But <clears throat> is that really it? I mean, the locked door, you'd have to either lock it from the inside of the music room or use the lounge key. <laughs> oh, when I went to get the music key, music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. Also, just to get outside from the music room, they'd need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by. Which means the killer's only escape route... Uh, swallowed some spit. Which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Killer's escape route. Do window. It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Huh? <laughs> what? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then... The pervert who stole Girl E's school swimsuit also murdered that girl over there? Then, the, the man <laughs> probably locked the music room so they could <laughs> wait, whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa! She ended whoa. up resisting, oh, okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very feisty word. Yeah. So, they frantically tried to get away, broke the window, and escaped. Girl E. Girl E. <laughs> She's a girly girl. Are you saying girl. my swimsuit looks girly? It do. Isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? Mm. I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might still be around, too. That's bad. Over bad. We better hurry up and run. But don't we want to report this to the police or any kind of adults? <laughs> don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? Yeah, they put it in an investigation file and possibly find the killer. And then they load it into a truth gun and shoot you with it. Yeah. You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. That is not true at all. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. if that was It'd the case, a lot of a lot of investigations would go completely haywire. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's it'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just lock the door. Leave everything how it was. That would be. It's far less suspicious. You got your fingerprints on shit already. If you don't admit to it, then you'd become a prime suspect because you didn't uh, report it. Hey, please wait. Don't leave me. Oh, uh, they did it. Girl D did it. Oh. D stands for did it. <laughs> Girl did it. <laughs> Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet... Uh, here, don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me or something. <laughs> I would hate, I'd hate, uh, I'd hate it. Now, before we continue this, does girl E and girl D both have southern accents? Yeah, it's just the easiest. I, I can, well, because I can take girl D if it's okay. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. Huh? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. <laughs> oh! On the day of the incident, I dropped something. I <laughs> Fucking, dropped roses. I dropped a crucifix with jam on it. <laughs> <laughs> on the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom as I was going home. And I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think these broken vase pieces mean? Oh, it's a vase? That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What is this? I, I don't know anything about this vase. I don't know nothing about birth and no babies. <clears throat> and if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously? I don't know anything. Hmm. It's okay. I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found out, you'd be in trouble, right, girly? Uh, are you trying to blackmail me? Uh, of course not. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. Okay, fine, I love you. I... shit. I mean... Yeah, so does everybody. We're friends, right? Yeah, I just read a book on it. <laughs> It's the facts of life. <laughs> you, you didn't say anything earlier. Either. Either. <laughs> I knew, you know, I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Girl E, d d don't tell me that. <clears throat> that bitch thought she could do anything that she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first, I tried to talk to her, but that bitch started talking to... Talking shit about how she'd target me next time, so I felt a sudden rage, and before I knew it, I was choking her. Uh. And then she lost consciousness. You know, one thing leads to another. Uh huh. But things would have been worse if she woke up, so that's why I had to do something about it. That's. That's not my fault or yours. It's all her fault. Uh, girl E, you just admitted to a murder. I... I'm going to jump into this incinerator. I'm going to jump into the lost and found. Hi, <clears throat> uh, Steven. That, that guy, girl E, was... Or that bitch, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> that girl, girl E, was it? Word is, she was with her on... The day of the incident. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is... It's really blurry. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Could it be the sound of breaking glass was actually this? Who thinks like this? 
If it wasn't, <laughs> right. why did she try to secretly get rid of this? By it, putting it down on the ground. It looks like a blurry photo of fucking nothing. Don't tell me that you saw a vase and then assume that it's related to a murder. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? <laughs> Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that... Mm, bitch, 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 bitch. I wish she had a name. Oh, wait, it's girl E. <laughs> I will never... I will never forgive her! Mm-hmm. Oh, right, so... we were playing Dong and Ronpa, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the main thing I picked up on there, besides the stuff that was extremely cryptic, is that she said that, like, she was making her life hell, and that might be related to Mikon because she gets bullied by Sionji all the time. Oh. But that's, like, the only thing. Okay... I could buy that too, yeah. What I'm mostly taking away is that we need to find a photo somewhere. Hmm. Yeah. Because they said, oh, there's like a photo related to the murder yeah, or, or something that rather. Would so, be cool. yeah, I, I think that's definitely going to be a factor in it. Nikon is definitely tormented by them, there's definitely a big bullying thing going on. So, mm -hmm. the, she was there most of the time. Yeah. So, I'm not sure. I didn't like get a sense for any of the other girls' personality. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The rest are kind of vague. Read the line. Oh, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Looks like this is the end. That's right. Now, now, now. That's the truth edition. But up, up. The <laughs> incident's first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. Yep. Now you've filled in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Chiaki and her signature catchphrase. Yep. Yep. Hey Chiaki. Yup. What do you what do you think of the characters in this game? It's pretty cool, right? Um, you mean girl A and girl B? Their names make no sense and they have no romantic chemistry either. Wait, were they supposed to be romantically involved? No, not that. No, they hated each other. Yeah. See? While you were talking, looks like the ending staff roll started. Staff roll? Perhaps. You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it, probably. Ooh. What I want to know? Is it on the staff roll? They have names? Producer Monokuma. Uh huh. Director, Director Monokuma. How helpful. Supervisor Monokuma. Uh huh. He helped himself. Plan scenario Monokuma. Uh huh. Programmer Monokuma. Yep. Graphics Monokuma. Uh huh. Sound Monokuma. Uh huh. Cast Sumiki Koizumi Hiyoko Miyoda Sato Kazuryu Kazuryu twice. Oh, that's concerning. I need to look at that again. Producer Supreme Monokuma. Wait, just now! Hiyoki Hiyoko See? Koizumi. I didn't recognize any of those names. No, they're all the last names of. Of the, they're gonna list them again. I'll uh. remind you who's who. See, didn't I tell you? What you want to know is gonna be on there. Miracle! <clears throat> Yay! Congrats, ah! Miracle! Ah! Congratulations! You have finally beaten Twilight Syndrome murder case. You specifically, <laughs> Hajime. You beat it. Yay! Now now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should also know... Ta-da! That's right! The game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident! Is that true? By the way... Why, yes, it is true! By the way, non-fiction means an original story based on historical fact or records. Hey, answer my question. Ew. No, but even if this is nonfiction, you guys probably don't remember it. I want to specify something with you, Monokuma. Are you talking about nonfiction, which is like a memoir or autobiography, or are you talking about historical fiction, which is based on real events, but is in fact fiction? <laughs> 
Well, that can't be helped. <laughs> the school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life? Isn't that wonderful? At any rate, congratulations. Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing mm. the game. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give no! Let me unzip my pants. Oh, wait, no, no I won't give it to ya! Uh, now I don't want it. Ending prize? <laughs> there was only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Oh, nuggets. Too bad. <laughs> How disappointing. Actually, maybe Chiaki got it. Maybe. Did you say ending prize? Hmm. Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it, too. Aww. Oh, Mahiru then. It's gotta be Mahiru. Um, man, I was too late. If I'd known something like this was gonna happen, I would have played the game sooner. Ending prize. But the Can ending I please prize get that list of names again, game? But the ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He said the list of people in the staff credit. Let's hear it again. Yeah, all right. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. Just as I thought. So it's connected to that this time, too. What was that sentence? So it's connected to that this, to time, that this too. time, too. It's because the translation is not trying to write it in a way that's easy to read. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. But it is, really. But, <clears throat> but is it really? Is it really true? Really, see, an easier, really? see, an easier way to write that is like, is that really true? Like, just write it like that. It means the same. <laughs> mm. We were already living our school lives, and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Huh. Fuyuhiko mentioned that he had a little sister. Oh, do you think mm. it's... Ooh. I was kind of thinking that earlier, but shut it down because I was like, no, they're not related. They no, both... I don't think that because there was a black haired girl who wasn't. Kazuria was put on there twice. That's their family name. That no, that's uh, I didn't say it earlier, but I was like, yeah, no, the they say Kazuria twice because it's it's like a family name. I don't know who that is, but oh, well, wait, I mean, it's not any Kazuriu. of the people in this oh, game. Okay. It happened in school. No, I know, I know. In the crap, in the staff credits, they say the name twice. <laughs> the name, that name is the gangster guy, right? You're, you're so annoying with being like, oh, oh, I figured it out. And you're like, yeah, I figured that out too. I just didn't want to say anything. The, no, what I'm saying is that like, uh, <laughs> I didn't notice that in the credits. I don't know who that is. That's the gangster guy, right? Yes. What I'm saying is though. I did notice that too. Shit. I <laughs> just punched my mic. <laughs> you. It looks like there's something on your mind. Is it money? Uh huh? Perhaps. Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. That this game is nonfiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. Mm. So you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but. Instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we, we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. Um, you're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. Can I please have that list again? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. If I get some information from them, I might find out about something. About the mystery behind Mahiru's death. About whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away. Hey, hey. Then let's hurry and ask the others. <laughs> and while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Uh. Leave it to me. Uh, also... If you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see. Thanks. That's huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. All right, let's go. <clears throat> so what you're saying Hello is... There. But... Ah! 
<laughs> what you're saying is that a uh, little girl is probably going to be like part of the Yakuza and related to the gangster boy? No. No? That's what oh, I wait, was no. thinking. The one in the game. You're not talking about Sayandi, right? That's the girl? She's the little girl. I know. That's, that's where my theory is right now. Yeah. I, I could buy but, it. But Fuyahiko was talking about how he was hoping <clears throat> that his sister would take over uh, the Kazuryu clan because she's home and he's here. Oh, wait. So he did say that he had a sister. Yeah. That's why uh, I like, thought of that because he mentioned that. Well, see, they, they did specifically say that their memories were erased is why I bring uh -huh. it up. So, so like, I get, well, what I'm thinking is that so he knows about his sister because she was alive before he went to school, but I think she might have been killed in school, and his school memories were erased, so he doesn't remember that he lost his sister. Oh, think so? See, the other reason I think that uh, Sayanji is, like, ex-Yakuza is because she's always dressed in, like, a kimono. So it seems, like, weirdly traditional and kind of is... regal, too. <laughs> Not to say that's especially Yakuza, but it is especially, like, weird and high class. So if you told me, oh, yeah, that's a Yakuza person, I'd probably but believe it. I would assume that Fuyahiko would remember what his sister, like, looks you... like. Mm -hmm. You'd think, but I could also imagine a scene where... They ask, like, what did your sister look like? And then he goes, oh, well, she, I, oh, It looks uh, like I that one over there. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. You know, like there'd be holes in the memory. I don't know. Okay. I, I, I'm, we'll see. I'm bouncing further away from that theory now that you talk about the possibility of the sister just dying before they lost the memories. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wanted to throw that out there. <clears throat> yeah. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. I walked 10 feet away and watched you beat the game. Good job. Like I said, I was watching you guys from the bushes. <laughs> the timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Ah, so you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the games, we must think similarly, right? Man. No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys. It's okay, just make your point. Well... There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? That makes things you easy. Know. Why, the characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? Bye now. If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. Mm. Mm. What should we do? Mm. I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Hi, Chiaki. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> run, 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 run. I run, forget run, 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 that they, they can move so damn fast. Yeah. Hello. Where are <laughs> Mikon? We right, really you're need right Fuyuhiko be here, and Mikon. Ah, oh, Hajime, over here. Mikon, Ibuku, Hyoko, are all here. Um. The names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were Sumiki, so that's a Mikon, Koizumi, Mahiru, Sayonji, Sayonji, uh, Ibuki Miyoda, uh, who's Sato again? Who no is idea. Sato again? Miyoda, Soda, Nimain. Do we have a Sato? Maybe that's. Maida, Togami, Tanaka, Soda, Hanamura, Nevermind, Nanami, Oari, Kazuryu, Nidai, Sayonji, oh, uh... Koizumi, Sumiki, Miyoda. It's Soda, it's just misspelled. Maybe? It's like the only, <laughs> only no. thing that's remotely no. close. <laughs> Sato, Kazuryu. So we don't know who Sato is. I mean, that's probably and part Kazuryu's of it. Yeah. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in the cottage and he wouldn't come out for me. 
so unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. What? Huh? It's okay to be absent? I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Executed? Because, I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lie. So, and now I've locked all the doors. <laughs> that was a lie. I've locked the doors, and now there's gas in the room. Oh, no. A lie? <sighs> you tricked us. Ha -ha, I tricked you all. What the heck? Jeez. Fine, then I'm leaving. Wait. I have locked the doors. <laughs> <laughs> Can you wait until we finish our business with you? Right, Hajime? This is, this is like I'm on the same team as Nagito. Oh, I can't stand it. No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. All right. <laughs> Chiaki, please. <laughs> Finally, I have you in a room, Chiaki. <laughs> you haven't been following me for I the last hour. I haven't talked to you at all. Hey, Ibuki, can I ask you something? Why you? Bring it on. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? Aww. Don't bring it on. Bring it off. Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Guitar! Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except for electric guitars. I don't have a phone. I don't use my... I'm, I can't stand in a room with the lights on. <laughs> How do I record my music? <laughs> it's not even plugged into an amplifier. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Microphones? Who's heard of it? Uh-huh. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game, too. Was there? I guess the one that was like, whoa, this is totally like a bit of it. I guess. You know, we kind of wrecked it with our voices. We made like it's half It's really of... hard. There's like six of them. Well, they look the fucking same, too, so it's not like we would know. <laughs> Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiru? We were dating for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that in a perverted way? Yes. No, in a normal yes. way. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Even if you asked me that, Buki's encounter with Mahiru was... Mm, mm. Oh! Uh, when I asked Mahiru this morning to go to the beach with us, with us she made this real disappointing face. A disappointing phase? She was like, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, but disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with department store rooftops. Let's focus on my hero. That's totally it! It turns out my hero had some business too. Business too. Oh my god. And <laughs> she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... Um, do you know what she meant by everyone? Aww. No, nope, didn't ask. Didn't cool. care. <laughs> I see. All I heard was no date for Ibuki. My hero invited Ibuki? Why? To kill her! <laughs> to assassinate her! I don't give a shit about the window. Mikan. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Cut to her screaming. Could talk about our Lord Jesus Christ? Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mikan? Um... Oh, no. No! <laughs> Video games are for idiots and losers. <laughs> Since we said we weren't going to play that game, it looks like I'm the only motherfucker who actually followed the rules! <laughs> also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow, and I panic instantly. Hajime, as you can see, I'm kind of a jock. I don't play video games. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Oh? Hey, hey. Okay. Just like less yeah. of a wreck. Yeah. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mahiru? <gasps> relationship? With Mahiru? Well, I first met her, um, when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but... Aww. Oh, could it be? Did Mahiru hate me? Uh, that's definitely it. She hated me. She doesn't know anything. 
No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Hmm? Invite? <laughs> oh, oh, my hero invited me this morning. This morning? Um, she looked very serious, and she was wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But I, I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she would reschedule for another day. <laughs> but if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Mahiru invited Mikon? Why? Mikon? Oh! I see. That's real desperation! <laughs> it looks like. Uh, looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies. Based on that, it seems like Mahiru also beat that game. Why? Why do you know that? You don't know? If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> Just like we're doing right now. But still. Uh, uh, sorry, I inhaled a lot of air. <laughs> I'm choking down tears after my hero died. <laughs> but in her case, it was much more serious. Probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. Hmm. But I'm surprised. I never thought my hero would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Nagito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? Huh? What? I didn't leave fried chicken there or anything. <laughs> I didn't leave delicious Reese's Pieces to the game or anything. <laughs> Scattered about. I didn't entice her like E.T. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. No. <laughs> uh, how could I forget? <laughs> anyway, what happened to Mayuru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. How mean. What can I say? I'm a temptress. <laughs> that's a rude thing to say. No, that's wrong. That's disrespectful towards Mahiru. I am a porcupine. Isn't that <laughs> right? There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. I just poked her, poked her with a sharp stick. Do, do, all I did do, do, was do, do, give do, do, her do. a little push with a sharp it's stick. Obvious. With my that's finger. That's all it was. Starts like cracking and the screen. <laughs> no, what? No. what the heck? Well, but more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. You know, my hero. <laughs> yeah, uh, that that Nagito. That is because she is dead. I'm sorry. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. Hey. If Mayuru spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you too, right? Mm -hmm. Well, Hiyoko? <laughs> she never talked to me at all. That's weird. Man, <laughs> what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Bye. So, I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now. Chase her down, chase her down, she's small. Uh, hey, <laughs> Hiyoko. And feeble. <laughs> Ignoring my voice, why? Yoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. Yeah, I, I wonder why. <laughs> Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Uh, yeah, it sure yeah, does. Yeah, she's very clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Now then. Regardless, it looks like we're finished here. So why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye now. I'll see you again later. Uh, hey! What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. I pushed him. I push, I push you with my finger. Chucky, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? 
It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. See? She might have that! Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Hmm. Ew, cuties. <laughs> I mean, cooties. <laughs> that's your you know cutest cutie. Say, <laughs> that's your cutest say yes. 